putting a final wrap on Carb Day as the laps added up, as the day wound down, and we are now less than 48 hours until they fly the green flag here for the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500. This was a final chance for a lot of these teams to really figure out the details of their cars. A lot of guys have talked about being good this month, but there's a big difference between that and being great on race day. By the time that two-hour practice got started this morning at 11 o'clock, it was very busy, very quickly, collectively 2,355 laps. There were several drivers that turned the better part of 70 or 80 laps today. Pit stop practice, all of the things that will add up into being a winning effort come Sunday. Elio Castroneves going for number five for a second time. He'll start from the middle of the pack on Sunday. Balance is right there. Actually, the balance is, feels even better than last year. The speed is the one that probably it's a little bit of a, the hiccup. Uh, it's a deficit that we had coming to this uh, to, to Indianapolis this year. So we just got to be smart and uh, and have a lot of positive vibe because. Yeah, it can happen. Now, as we get a look at today's quick six, again, the Ganassi cars have been great all month long. Sato, Dixon, Pelo, three of the top four, including the pole sitter. But get a look at one of the workies. That's Austin Canapino, the driver from Argentina, making a go here for the very first time. That's at Hukos Hollinger Racing Team, driving the Argentina colors this month. Canapino has been kind of quietly figuring his way through everything. Were they secretly fast today? Not really. They found a good spot in the pack, but Canapino knows this will be a learning experience come Sunday. Your first carb day. Let me get your first impressions of this practice, first of all. Uh, yes, we, we improve. We improve a little bit. Of course, we, uh, we know with us, our position, we are struggling a little bit with the pace on traffic and with the pistol, but it's what it is. We need to work more. And so, you know, we see what's happening on Monday, uh, on Sunday. And get Canapino starting back there from back of the pack, row number nine. Hard to think that anybody from that far back is going to have an opportunity to make their way through the front. But again, there is a whole lot that goes into this with pit stops, tire, fuel strategy, and all of it to get to the end of that 500 miles on Sunday. The pit stop competition always a highlight of carb day. And man, the story says the same again. The Wolf Pack gets it done. That's the Scott Dixon number nine PNC Bank Honda Chip Ganassi Racing Team. They ripped off some phenomenal pit stops all day. Took two out of three from Will Power in the final round. Pick up another record setting victory here. We'll see if it adds up on race day. Been a long time since the pit stop comp winner also got to drink the milk in victory circle. We'll see how it all comes together come Sunday. All the work is done at this point. All that's left, line them up, wave the flag, and tear them loose. We'll do that all around 1245 when they wave the green flag here on Sunday. So looking forward to this 107th running of the Indianapolis 500. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you back here on race day.